helicopter to escape. Do whatever it takes to stop it before it departs. We have to stop that helicopter. Got it all planned out. This is what you came for. Signature move. Fair enough. Dare to die. You have our thanks. Here we go. Sir. We're not done yet. You haven't lost interest in me. We have a 
haven't even gotten started yet. The helicopter is preparing for takeoff. We still have some time. Make sure you don't ignore it. Clean up the rest of these Hydra thugs. Heading to... Whenever I read this book, I can still hear the gen... Yeah? Welcome to book club. I didn't realize... I really should have... If you have... I'm... Before we start, I want to welcome Logan to the book club. What did you think of the book? I uh, didn't read it. Okay then, guess I'll start. Steve, I really enjoyed this book. What stood out to you? I know people have different approaches to leading others, but I never considered what drives them to do so. Take Custer. He led from the front and was mostly loved by his troops, but his drive for personal glory affected every choice he made. Eventually, Custer picked a fight he couldn't handle. His recklessness led to the death of himself and every soldier he commanded. His mistake was make- Makes sense. The better they do, the more he gets credit for- I think the biggest lesson also, you can't just get through life with a pretty face. I thought you didn't read the book. I didn't, but I picked things up from context. 
I learned more about George Washington from this book than anything I was taught in school. Yeah, that surprised me as well. Before this, I associated him with statues, paintings, and the dustiest parts of American history. But here we see a military leader whose personal ambition was the victory of his army. He was clear-eyed about his goals and knew how to get out of his own way. Washington led from the top, though he kept counsel with various advisors. Once he made a decision, he expected his subordinates to follow his orders. For less capable people... Yeah, I find it's best to leave some wiggle room. More than anyone else... And that's where the book gets its title? Right. The Mantle of Authority. It's something that augments you. Which brings us to our final profile. We really don't have to do this one. And now, I'm interested. Steve, how long have you bugged me to read this? Not because of the chapter on me. You all know General Phillips selected me for the Super Soldier program. For he was kind to say I led by example. To get anything done, I need the group's consensus. I can't give pretty speed. You could order me a pizza. Nope, we're too far from New York City. That is a shame. Pizza could build consensus. You're not wrong. That's how I used to get the Hulk on board. But I find little enjoyment in talking about myself, so... Yeah, let's end it here. All right, we'll call it here. Next month is... Hunter, do you have any books to suggest? None from the past few centuries. Then Logan could pick the next one. Sure, The Adventures of Crash Morgan Number 5, The Last Queen of Deimos. What is that exactly? It's about a space explorer with a ray gun, a jetpack, and a fishbowl helmet. Travels through space with a robot dog, they get in wacky adventures. That's a classic. A buddy of mine had that in basic. I'm always up for space nonsense. I'm not, but that's the book. I'll give it a shot. What? Well, the punch is decent. What? I meant... I just told you. Thumbs up for punch. I'm actually... Why? Steve can take a compliment, but he's... I'm not sure why... You are not required... Come on. Well... You did not think... I wasn't sure he'd be in the book club. The name... Hmm, maybe... You welcome to resurrected deep... Cannot... When you first joined, I wanted you to keep an open mind about book club. Good... You... I... Good... Nico and I shared a bonding moment over my punk phase. <laughs> it was endearing. Hello, my sweet girl. Good day, Hunter. What's happening, Hunter? I've never seen anything like that car of yours. You mean it? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're looking well, Chief. Damn it, Hunter. I hate... We can... No, the whole situation. Chasing... Do not... I am beyond well-meaning. This is not a problem I can solve. Or it's a byproduct. I don't know. Did we lose entropy? How about friction? What's next? Do light waves gain mass? Huh. 
I am not working hard enough. When did you last sleep? Uh, uh, well, to Worst pep talk I... But... Let's just get this research going now. Found another artifact, Hunter? I know exactly where this goes. Ability. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. What's up? Ah, uh, uh, not bad, right? See you, Hunter. I'm here if you need me. Time's wasting, Hunter. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. All right, then. Hey, can I ask a favor? Now that the Hydra vampires have my prototype sample, I've no doubt they'll attempt to create their own sunlight serum. Mass produce it, more like. But where would Hydra vampires go to mass produce sunlight serum? Somewhere familiar to them. How about a Hydra facility that makes the gamma goop they put in their blood? Yes, I'm gonna go with exactly like that. How about one sending a distress signal about a vampire invasion? Might be a good place to start.
mass production of my prototype sample is a nightmare come to life. Do you ever regret creating your sample? Of course. But humankind did not split the atom just to create a Hydra turned upon itself? No, this is biology. It is a vampire's nature to betray the living. Excuse me? Oh, but not mine. I differ on a biological level. Relax. It was a joke. Disable those terminals. At the very least, we can slow their efforts to reproduce the serum. But we need to protect the server to access the data ourselves. Correct. And I thought technology was supposed to make our lives easier. centuries ago. me out of the picture. Empiric Hydra forces lose their vulnerability to the sun. A lot of innocent civilians are going to pay the price, and we can't allow that. Your sincere concern for the guiltless is inspiring. is disturbing. Someone order a knuckle forge. Some for the rest of us.
At least my mother knows how to keep her minions in check. As much as she'd like to pretend, Sin doesn't hold the same sway as her grandfather, much less Lilith. Does it matter? She has enough resources at her disposal to be a problem. Have the opportunity to settle our grievances personally. You're surprisingly enthusiastic for someone marching towards their end. And you are sure for someone who dares tread on the work of a superior on our side. This shall be of great help. It is too late for you. I smell. Is this what you had hoped for? A futile No change in plan, it seems. Change of plans. Now remember who started. You've left me no choice. Still expecting the worst here. Move back! I beg If only it weren't being used for such twisted ambitions. There's nothing of the great works achieved by Hydra. This will be our resurgence. I've heard that before, too. What my You don't look so tough. You sure you're up for this?
You were too weak for this fight. Hope they're ready. A feeble effort. of high time will rule the day as well as the night. None will stand in there. Maintain an inspirational outlook in the face of overwhelming defeat. I make you suffer! I'll take that. Your prototype sample? Indeed. And now to destroy the sunlight serum. But it's not all here, is it? Of course not. We manufactured so much. All transported off-site before you even arrived. This is the final batch. A reserve. I am a wolf in the night. <laughs> the yapping of a mangy cur does not concern me. Tell me where you brought the serum! Watch that temper, little mutt. You don't want to lash out and bite the ones you love. Tell me! Where else, you pathetic counterfeit? I delivered it to the Lord of Vampires. You don't know what you've done. Oh, but I do. <laughs> Dracula, my master, has enough sunlight serum to supply an army. And there's nothing you can do to stop him. Hey, boss. Could you some help? Hey. Shop class is supposed So... Actually, when I asked Parker, he mentioned you stopped by. Said he could convince... Maybe. But... I already said too much. I have to... Time to... So, what did you want? A do-over? And to, uh, to apologize for the last time. It's a nice sentiment, but a do-over doesn't have much appeal for either of us. Yeah, I don't understand why we should keep giving you chances. You shouldn't. Not if you don't want to. But hear me out, okay? I've been the person in charge for years. When I'm stressed, I can steamroll people who never expected it, and certainly don't deserve it. That's what assholes say to justify their behavior so they can keep being assholes. Half of the Avengers agree with you. Look, nothing I did was justified. I was a jerk. And I'm sorry. Okay. 
Look, when you take away all the trappings of ungodly wealth, I'm just a guy who likes to make things. None of my friends were into this stuff. I was the only kid who saw beauty in exhaust manifolds, who spent hours poring over the guts of a microprocessor. That's all I want here, to make things with friends. As long as that's still an option. That's the whole idea behind this? Okay, here's how we make this work. Tony Stark, CEO, is banned from shop class. But making things, Tony? The guy we're talking to right now? He can stay. That's more than fair. Glad that's over with. So, another day for re- I finally- You ready to put- Yeah, I know. Blah, blah, teamwork. Parker's creative drive is amazing. And Robbie has the right intuition when it comes to putting these prototypes together. Wish I'd seen it. I think that was our best. I'm ready to call. Give. Blade sent you to check on me, didn't he? Is he? Of course. That is what they stole. There is an army you could not have known. No. We will. Oh. If you think. Who's? The hell. Wow. Well, Understand how Morbius feels, but we can't have any. I don't like how Morbius is acting. I had some concerns about letting a vampire in the Abbey, but the real threat is out there. said it was weird that I sleep with my guns. Uh, it's called being prepared. Good. I was hoping for something to do. This stuff is act- These are the current priorities. Favor, just this once. Me? <laughs> Not true.
Why, hello, Hunter. As I had hoped, the Bar Guest's dark energy is exactly what we needed to pierce the demonic barrier. What is our next move? I've created a suit of armor from it, tailored to fit you and only you. In theory, it will allow you to walk among the Lilin. I just hope it fits. It certainly looks impressive, doesn't it? I've decided to call it the Demon Child Suit. A very fitting name, Doctor. On many levels. <clears throat> I was hearing a lot of eyes in there, Doc. Thought this was a Wii scenario going on here. Yes, Tony provided some assistance, of course. Particularly with the name. Yeah, well, forgive me if I'm not used to having my combat suits try and take a bite out of me while I calibrate them. It is an impressive, if not pungent, creation. Speaking of, I suggest you make use of the suit while the components are still... fresh. That should maximize the protections against that infernal barrier. Understood, Doctor. A successful collaboration. Hunter, what is that hideous thing you're wearing? Hideous? That's harsh, even for you, Sarah. It, oh, smells. And what is that leathery material it's made of? It looks like it's made from the skin of- Rabid demon dog? Pretty much terrifies me just looking at it. But if it can get Hunter here through that demonic barrier keeping us out of Banner's lab, I can deal with my existential terror over Strange's creepy meat suit. Barrier? Oh, didn't Hunter catch you up? We're going back to Banner's lab to emancipate my Gamma Accelerator. Thought we could use it to destroy the parchment, if we ever find it again. Hunter, we need to talk, and we need to talk now. What is Tony talking about? He believes his... Yes, I heard. And why didn't it... Of course it is. Going back to Banner's lab. Well... It's not like any of... Stark, strain... This plan... Or it... Bullock. I know you have heard the... Uh, no. Fine. Go back. Thank... While you're there, if you happen to encounter... I assure... Then I will... Glad we're on this... I was afraid you were going to... But I know you have better sense than... Well, at least it should give good luck. I hope. How's it going, boss? Initiating the start. How's that for quality workmanship? Must not be her purview. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Time's wasting, Hunter. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. Hydra won't want to tussle with me now.
Is that the doggy? How does? Oh, come on, Magic. You should. You look as ridiculous. I thought you wanted us to find her. I do. I just think wearing a hell. If you have a better idea. Oh, getting defensive. Sadly, I do not have a better But if on the off chance you What? I don't give a damn about the ex- So if wearing that monstrous- Promise me. I- Good. Now get out of here. And don't come back until you- b Be careful out there, Hunter. I want both you and Wanda back safe. Just like looking in a funhouse mirror, I wouldn't be caught dead in it.